Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. We're going to be playing Total War Three Kingdoms. Now, I want to thank all of you who have really stuck with my channel uh, all this time, and I think the first thing that you all will notice here is the difference in quality, hopefully, of the audio. Um, if you, you know, if you've been following, you'll, you'll know I have a new uh, speaker. I have one of those Blue Yeti uh, microphones. Sorry, not a speaker, a microphone. Um, and I also have a new uh, laptop here, a new computer. Much better setup that I'm going to be using to play uh, Total War Three Kingdoms. And, uh, you know, I used to have to have Rome Total War going. And, I mean, literally, the Rome Total War w was kind of laggy during the battles. And I think you're going to see here with this game that it is, on the max settings, uh, a pretty good, uh, very good, exceptionally good video quality. And... Uh, I'm excited to show you all that. So, now I did some looking through uh, which guys I want to play as here. Um, and I actually decided on kind of an interesting one. I'm not going to go with one of the Warlord uh, guys. I got the huge military focus thing. Um, I know, you know, I was tempted to do Sun Jan at first with the expansion play style, but I've actually only played this game. For about 50 turns with Sunjan, and uh, I decided that I didn't want to play as him for the full campaign. So instead, I'm going to be playing as a governor, um, which is kind of, is kind of an interesting uh, character. And I'm going to be playing as Kong Rong, this guy right here. So there are a couple home, things I really like about Kong breath, Rong that I want to point out before we jump into the campaign here. The um, number one is he this has is sort Kong of his own Rong little corner of China believes. here. As you can see, this peninsula area is prime expansion opportunity um, that he can, he can move into. Uh, number two is his unique units are both bow units. Uh, the Fury of Beihai and the thunder of Jian Yan. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pronounce so many things wrong when playing this game, guys. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and outright say that it's gonna happen. Um, his faction special specialization is a trade monopoly, uh, which is like a beefed up trade, uh, which is a uh, you know a kind of a beefed up trade agreement uh, sort of thing. Um, trade and population placed off focus. Unique building academy is a culture with population growth, income from all sources, and public order. He gets education program, which is a good, uh, which is a good uh, assignment um, for commerce income, and he is loyal to the Han. So uh, that means he cannot declare as emperor by creating an emperor seat. Instead, I need to capture the capital of the existing emperor. Now, uh, you know, I'm sure you know this. Um, like I just said, I've only played this as a test campaign with Sun Jian for 50 turns, and I did not get to the end game. So I'm not 100% sure what the end game is like in. Uh, Three Kingdoms with regard to, you know, how to become Emperor and whatnot, but we'll figure it out when we get there. He starts with Wang Zhu, the Righteous Hero, a good commander. Um, starting situation is hard. I think he's at war with, like, a lot of people around him. Uh, yeah, this guy right here. Uh, oh, well, that's his starting situation. It's very hard, but I'm at war with him. And, uh, I get good trade influence, population growth. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start here, and, uh, China. Oh, 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 before we get in, uh, I am gonna be playing the, uh, romance mode, which means the generals are kind of like superhero type guys, they're, they're incredibly powerful, and they can duel, um, as opposed to records, which is more like any other Rome Total War game where your, uh, your general's units are, like, a, essentially an additional cavalry unit. So, I think it's gonna be fun to play it on the romance mode, and, uh, we're gonna be playing in a hard, hard difficulty... Uh, obviously, no advisor help, no limit to battle time. Okay, China must be united. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns, chaos ignites as the power of the eunuchs is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. A generation's potential shatters. Knowledge dies. Kong Rong feels drawn to action. He knows he must act. Wisdom will save China. But war must first restore it. 
China All right, I love become. the art in this game. I mean, the it is just beautiful. I, have, I, I don't think a game has been this beautiful since uh, Shogun 2. Um, I mean, this is... This is quite a, a well-made, really aesthetic, uh, aesthetic game. That was probably that was just such such a cool intro. Big fan. And seizing commanderies across the realm. All right, let's let this. There we go. Continue. Luo Yang is set ablaze by Dong Zhuo, my lord. It is barbaric. What loss of life. Of culture. His iron grip is unshaken. He heads west with the Emperor. A tyrant controls the Empire. These are dark tidings. Yet there are still pressing affairs closer to home. Yes, Lord. The yellow turbans persist. Their greatest strength is in your lands. We must rebuild. Schools, learning. It is wisdom that will see us through this crisis. And what of the coalition? Chao Chao pulls their strings. That wretched snake. He has them fooled, but not me. I shall never trust him, and neither should they. Your wisdom is well known, Kong Rong. If you apply your mind to our current woes, I'm sure all of China will listen. All right. So we are here. Defend against the yellow turbans. Be wary of Yan Shao. Establish. All right. Where's Yan Shao? Uh, let's switch to diplomacy. No, I can't see him. No. Dong Zhou. Huang, Huang Shao. That's not Yan. Okay. I can't see Yan Shao. All right. Uh, engage the following general's army in battle. Wang Rao. Taste of victory. 30 military supplies and five more Rao. Um... Yeah, that's just a starter battle here. And, uh, what do we get in Sillaries? What? Whoa! Whoa, we got some weapons here, guys. Jeez, look at the start. Um. Dual War Axes. 1,700 damage. But, you know, 500 base, 1.2k armor piercing. Minus 9 expertise, but 15 to resolve, and plus 15 charge bonus. Clay Rat, Authority and Satisfaction, and a Great Military Axe. Uh, about 1,400, just under 1,400 damage with minus six, okay, minus expertise, but a big bonus to resolve as well. So, interesting, um, weaponry to start it off there, that's for sure. All right, sorry, I had to step up for one quick second there, but let's take a look, um, at our starting positions. So, yeah, we have one province here, Bay High, um... Surrounded by people, looks like we're at war with. Literally, I mean, I guess that's why it's a hard starting position. So, uh, all right, generals. Here's yeah, Kong Rong, head of our faction. Um, he has, let's see, a refined noble's sword. Uh, he has his, yeah, Kong Rong's armor. I thought I assumed so. Usually, the big guys get that. Horses. He has his base horse, which is a common black horse. No followers available, and I do have some accessories. So, um. I guess let's give him... We'll give him this one. We'll give him the Stone Pig. You get a little little instinct bonus. Give you some more satisfaction. Although, I doubt... I don't think you can be, you can be angry. Uh, <laughs> I mean... Like, yeah, you can't be angry. You're my faction leader. You're a legendary strategist. So, legendary, by the way, is because this cunning here... You see, it's greater than 117. Uh, sorry, it's greater than 100. It's 117, which gives it that little golden ring... Uh, which makes him a legendary strategist. If that wasn't 100, if it was like 99, it would just say strategist at the top. Um, he's a master scholar, so he gets 5k population growth faction wide, which he is prime minister, so that's good. He gets plus one resilience and 50% trade influence. Okay. Um, yeah, legendary character. Uh, okay. Uh, traits, he's kind. Resolve, authority, satisfaction, and public order. Nice. Scholarly, expertise, cunning, and plus 25% character experience. Also nice. Understanding, resolve, and cunning. Okay, so that's those are his bonuses. He has a lot of expertise, actually. Um, what's, what's flashing up here? Oh, I don't need you. All right, uh, skills. What does he got? Stifling Deluge. So cunning, instinct, and the ability is the, it's a passive buff. 
Uh, debuff, increased cooldown of ability. So for enemy units, he has Judgment, Cunning, plus 25% range damage, plus one available trade agreements. Uh, he also has Intuition, plus 8 Expertise, uh, plus 25% chance of evading capture post-battle, and plus 15% income from Industry for his Administered Commandery. And Scholarship, plus 8 Cunning, plus 10% character experience in this army. That's nice. And plus 40% income from Commerce, Silk, and Spice. In his administered commandery. Okay. Nice. So you're pretty set up. I don't think there's much more we can do with you. Let's look at the rest of our army here, or the rest of our generals. So, one thing I do notice, which is nice, all the generals get along. See this green check mark? That means they all like each other. The generals are in harmony. Uh, if they were not, there would be a red X uh, there. So, the green check mark, that is nice. What about you, Zhang Yan? What's up with you? Uh, first of all, weapons wise, so you can't use the really good one. That's kind of annoying. This is the one that does a ton of damage. But you can use this one, which is which is about fine, because your current weapon does 88 base and 354 armor piercing. This one gives 412 base and 962 armor piercing. So a lot better. It also gives you it gives you so it's gonna give you minus nine expertise, which oh wait, okay, I need to go through these for you guys. Sorry. Expertise, uh, each one of these has a bonus. Um, and, you know, bonuses that they help with, and usually you want to match up the, the really high one with whatever color they are. So the champion, these guys are good duelers. Uh, yeah, best to use to engage enemy generals, however weaker against units. Um, so... Yeah, so expertise is construction cost, melee evasion, resolve is general's health and population growth, cunning is ammunition and military supplies, instinct is melee damage and recruitment cost, and authority is satisfaction and unit morale. So for him, instinct is important for melee damage for dueling, and resolve is important for the health for dueling. So we are losing three instincts by switching this weapon. I don't really care too much about losing the expertise, but because we're gaining so much damage, and we're gaining 12 to resolve. So his general's health is plus 25%. I equip this. Now it's for plus 31% to General's Health. So I gain 6% to my General's Health. Uh, that's huge. Armor. Um, yeah, we'll give you the better armor here. Definitely give you the better armor. And, oh, I like that. I forgot they do that. Yeah, so it, up, it updates their image. Like, watch, when I when I change their armor to the better one, see how his image updates? It's kind of cool. Mount, you got your horse, it's fine. Um, and yeah, we'll give you the one with Instinct here. So we'll give you back that Instinct and get your melee damage up a little bit again. Uh, definitely nice. You have Quiet, which gives you Cunning Instinct, uh, cover, plus four cover gain per turn when spying, and decreases ambition to gain independence as an administrator, loyal, expertise, reduced, reduced penalty from desire for higher office, and again, decreased ambition, and graceful, expertise, and plus, plus four expertise, and plus ten melee evasion. So that's very nice. So I, 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 I lost my melee evasion when I got rid of the expertise by giving him the better weapon, but Graceful gives him a plus 10. So that's okay. We have a hamstring, plus 4 expertise, plus 4 resolve, and the ability of hamstring, which is a melee attack. So again, good for dueling, which is nice. It does 1.9k splash damage, reduces speed, and increases cooldown of abilities by 30 seconds. Um, and endurance, plus 8 resolve. Minus, okay, minus attrition from military supply shortage and fatigue resistance. Nice. Good general. He'll be a good dueler. That weapon's awesome. Next, we have Wang Zhu. Oh, sorry, I'm drinking a White Claw over here, guys. Um, Wang Zhu weapons. Oh, thank God. You can take the really good one, too. So I have two generals now with baller weapons in this army. Um, that's going to give him plus 15 to resolve, which is, uh, which is nice. Uh, minus expertise, that's okay. Um, yeah, it's fine. So authority is his thing. So his thing is unit morale. Um, he is... Oh, wait, let's go through the rest of these first. Yeah, we'll give you the better armor. Um, and we'll give you the one that boosts your authority. So now you get plus 7 more unit morale. Nice. He is loyal. So, okay, so loyal again. Uh, the other guy, Zhang Yan, had that. He is determined, which gives resolve and instinct. And he's honorable, which is, yeah, resolve, reduce penalty for higher for desire from a higher office, um, minus ten percent chance of capturing enemy officers post battle, and decrease ambition as well. Cool. 
You have Nature's Ally, Cunning, Authority, and it's a passive buff. Uh, plus 25% speed and uh, plus 10 morale. Ignore forest penalties. And Meditation, uh, plus 8 authority, enables Unbreakable, plus 10 morale when defending. Cool. All right. I love that these guys got baller weapons off the bat here. That's nice. So I guess no point in wasting any more time. Let's jump into our starter battle here. And now, you know, now we've gone through the generals of our army. And, and let's jump in and let's uh, there are let's fight this first battle. I'm going to do the duel. They have a general, so I'm going to duel with this guy. These ones be dealt with now. I want to watch him use his awesome new weapon. Uh, and he, I mean, he should out, it's a starter battle, so he's, he, he should outmatch this general, like, no problem. Uh, plus he has that one, that splash damage, uh, move also. Oh, look at that. Positioned out in the front. Ready to go. Yeah, let's charge you forward. There he goes. Okay, are they good, are they moving forward at me? Yeah, they are. Alright, they're coming up on me. He's out of, oh, so he, okay, so, it's a negligible relative strength. He's about to be in range, as you can see. Yo, he challenged me. Alright, let's accept. So here goes my guy. Running through the river. Here comes their guy. And they should collide. Boom! Oh, I got the hit. Nice. So he's at 19k health. My guy's at 24k health. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is immediately use hamstring. Get that 1.2, uh, 1.9k splash damage. There it is. Boom. Yeah, okay, he's still at 19, so it didn't seem to really do too much damage. That's okay. Yeah, we'll let this fight fight play out for a bit. Uh, archers, just, yeah, get off skirmish mode. Don't need you to doing that. Whoa, sorry guys, lost a little control there from the mouse. Come on, man, get... You got, you got a real good weapon. Get some hits on him here. So must you. I was going to let you live until now. All right, we'll let that play out for a bit. Let's focus on this. Let's get my cavalry out on a flank. Archers have opened fire. Nice. Yeah, these guys have fifty percent range block chance, so my archers are going to have a little trouble doing a lot of damage to them. All right, their their swordsmen are coming out for my cavalry here, so let's let's kind of get them back in towards the line a little bit. And let's let's run them through this way. I want my I want my cavalry hitting them kind of from the rear a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna get a little cutesy with my cav here. Duel is still going. Does he have hamstring again? Yeah, use hamstring again. Keep using that attack move. Alright, you guys charge out at them. You guys charge out at them. Yeah. Alright, let's use let's use my cavalry charge now. Yeah, see look at that devastating cavalry charge. They routed immediately. Alright, Cav, let's get you let's get you going to another charge here. Oh, I'm about to win this fight. That was kind of easy actually. Like the duel. Come on, Cav. Let's go. Next unit, just get a nice charge in the side. Boom! Look at that! Nice. Alright. Let's watch the end of this fight. Yeah, he's got 454 left. Let's watch the end of this duel. Come on, man. Get the kill move. I have Reign of Blood, so it should be a cool kill move here. Ooh, got a little kick in there. Ow. Alright, come on, man. Finish him off. He's at one health. Come on. Jeez, he's really kicking my guy. Come on, dude. He has one health. Get one more hit on him. Jeez, what's he doing? Alright, here we go. Come on. Oh. I mean, there we go. Boom. Oh, just missed him. Okay, this is ridiculous. Finish him off, dude. Come on. What's going on here? He has, he's at one health forever. Come on. <laughs> My god, is he really just gonna... Come on. How have you not gotten the kill move yet? Is he still at one health? He's still at one health. 
There we go. Finish him off. Finish him off. Come on. Oh my gosh. You're right. Oh! Oh! There it is! Oh my gosh! Oh, decapitated. That was brutal. Wow. Wow, he really kind of took his time finishing that one there, but did get the win. Did get did get the win there. Okay, so that should give me the bonus, the taste of victory. Ooh. Oh, Kong Rong, you're ruthless, man. We outwitted them. Alright, get some money. Hmm, do I take the replenishment? I really I, didn't, I only lost three troops. No, no, no. I'll take the income. It's not that much money, but, I, you know, why am I going to use replenishment for only three troops? Okay, taste of victory. Uh, military supplies and morale faction-wide for how long? Three turns? Okay. Uh, Kong Rong roots out yellow... Okay, take Beihai, and I get support for the people. Public order and faction support for three turns. All right. And friends. Who's friends? Wang Zhu and Kong Rong, you guys became friends. Nice. You already like each other, um, but now you're friends, which is nice. So, we are actually in range here of the livestock farm. So, I guess... Let's just go for it. Uh, they have... S mm, do, do I want to just starve him out? I mean... Now, let's take it. I want, I want that this first turn income... It says I'm gonna have a decisive victory. I have three generals. They have none. I think let's uh, let's just get in there and let's take them out. We shall be carried along by a wave of victory. <sighs> okay. They are a blight on all of China. Any second now, it should load. Should load in. Be mindful. Soon this will be over all and right. our foes finished. All right. Where are they? Over there. Okay, let's, uh... I guess let's just move up to here. Um, cavalry, you can... You can come out more on this side. That's fine. They do have cavalry themselves. Uh, Alright, let's let everyone form up. One thing I like about this game is the default is, is run for the troops. Like, you don't have to double-click to make them run. Um, it was always kind of a, a little bit of a pest kind of thing in the old games. Like, you want your units to run, you always have to double click them into position. Um, so it's kind of nice that they, they changed that here. Uh, yeah, you guys, two archers units, take you. I don't like skirmish mode, we're just gonna take you off. Alright, what do we got? Not, a, not an inconsequential force. Two cavalry units. Alright, they, so they open fire, but um, so their archers must have better range than me. Range is 200, my archers range is 180. Yeah, their archers have better range than me. So I have to be kind of on the aggressive side uh, here. Um, cavalry, why don't you get out that way? And let's get my, my two fighting generals out this way. Archers, get to so that you're, you can fire in on them. And let's get my whole front line charging forward. You, sir, Kong Rong, stay with the archers. Okay. Everyone move. Alright, my cav is going to run a Yeah, they're going to loop all the way around. I'm going to try to draw one of their cavalry units out, and if they don't come out to face me, then I'll hit their archers from behind. Alright, so my archers are opening fire. Now, who do I want to fire on? Uh, see, these units have zero range block chance, zero range block chance, 65 range block. Let's, uh, let's have my archers, yeah, fire in on the one with zero range block chance. That's, that's a smart move. Um, you guys, I want spear unit, go after that cavalry. Sword unit, and this spear unit, you two guys, go there. This spear unit, go after that cavalry. Uh, these guys are still running around the back. Yeah, I want I want them to get over to here. All right, there we go. Yeah, generals, get in there with the cavalry. They should. My generals see these guys should be able to handle the calves. Use hamstring. There we go. Take a bunch out, and I got a spear unit coming in on them. 
All right, yeah, you guys now get in on those archers as quick as you can. You guys uh, fire in on the archers. All right, they're routing. So what I'm going to do is spear unit, go after that cav. You two generals go after the, um, yeah, go after the archers because they're just like peppering my guys right now. These guys took a little too long. I thought this battle would last a little longer. They're taking a little while to get around there, but it's okay. You know what, you guys, your spears, hit the back. Yeah, hit the back of these horses there. You should be able to handle them. Generals are going to handle those guys. Cavalry's now coming in on these uh, on these archers. Yeah, there's a charge bow. Ooh, big charge bonus in on the archers there. And that, that should pretty much be that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, these guys are rowdy now, surrounded by spears. Swordsmen are still chasing after those guys. Yeah. This should be done in a second. Cavalry's chasing down this archer unit. It's the last unit that's still fighting. Oh no, there's the cav unit out here. Alright, everyone's routing but this cav unit. Let's see if my champion can uh, can take him down. God, he's slow. Oh, he's tired, that's why. Alright. Oh, they ran right past him. They don't want anything to do with him. Let's get my other general involved here. Yeah, he's he's. Oh, there they go. They routed. All right, perfect. All right, I don't need to worry about chasing units down because it was a city siege, so they all uh, they will all die anyways. So no worries there whatsoever. Ah, okay. So nice first two battles. I mean, they're not supposed to be hard, but. It was definitely nice to lose minimal troops. I mean, 227 is not minimal, but it'll recover, and we'll occupy this settlement. Support from the people. Public order and faction support. Uh, plus 1,600 experience for Kong Rong. That is nice. Construct a or upgrade a building in Beihai. Your economy grows. Minus one construction time and minus 20% construction costs for three turns. Okay. Commandery secured. Nice. And what? Where the expert's leather? Who can wear that? That looks good. Can you, the dueler, wear that? No. What about you? Yeah, you can. So it oh it lowers your base, but it's gonna give you nine more authority. No, your current armor is better. We're gonna keep your current armor. Ooh, what's this? Kong wrong. Ah, get off my screen. Too many. All right. So they're going to be recovering a bit here, replenishing. Um, so here's the thing. I mean, I, I could do. I think it's yeah, it's smart to do an upgrade early here. So we got peasant. This okay. So this city's only peasantry income. Uh, there's no other income source here. Uh, so what do we want to do? So this one here is producing food and peasantry income. So I guess let's go to the peasantry section here, the green section. And what's this one do? Plus 10% income from peasantry and plus 25 food production. It's probably worth it. What, what goes along this chain? Yeah, food food production bonuses. Yeah, it's cheap. It takes one turn. Let's do it. That'll give a nice boost to food. Now, diplomacy-wise, who do we have here? Well, we have yellow turbans here. Uh, Han Empire has the entire peninsula. And Juan... So the only real character is this guy here in Taishan. Um, Taishan, I think, is going to be kind of valuable to take. Uh, I mean, I can't move... Okay, I'm, I might, I'm thinking of something. Just bear with me for the time being. Uh, I don't think there's much more we can do on this first turn. Um, do you want to trade? Can you trade? No, you can't trade. Uh, see, he's the only one I'm not at war with. Everyone else I'm at war with, so... Alright, not much more I can do right off the bat here. So let's go ahead and let's end this turn here. All right, a lot of characters, a lot of characters. Keep scrolling through. Yellow turbines, okay. Yeah, that's what I expected, the construction cost and construction time bonus. Uh, battle must be joined and men must fight. Recruit and maintain total 13 units. I have 11 right now, okay. Growing might, 10% to replenishment, that's nice. And uh, bonus experience for units per season, okay. All right, ancillaries gained. A wooden fish. Cool. Character developments. People of merit. 
buildings. Yeah, I know that. That's what I just built. All right, so let's explore the court here because it's interesting. Um, so the people of Merit, the Kenneths, those are these guys here on the right. Um, as you can see, none of them are particularly good. They're all level, or this guy's level four, um, but or woman's a level four, um, but she's you know kind of on the old side, and her expertise for level four should be over a hundred at that point, and it's not. So family tree is just me. Uh, characters, yeah, you see, they're, they're friends. They're friends. They're all friends. Um, and I do have these other guys. Uh, Sun Shao. Um, you're a level one sentinel. That's nice. I like that. Your, your expertise is already pretty high for level one. Um, Shi Yi. Do I need another strategist? Because he's my head strategist. I don't think I need another strategist. And he's not really a good one either. Um, what are his traits? Distinguish, increases ambition. Uh, these are bad traits. Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of you. I'll take the money, 800 money for the minus 5 satisfaction. I remember doing this to one guy last in my test campaign. Um, it's early. I think everyone is pretty happy in my, uh, in my game. So yeah, you're done, dude. Uh, get the hell out of here. Now, we want to take advantage, for sure, of this, uh, this bonus that we have with the minus 20% construction cost and minus 1 construction time. And so we want to use this for probably a, a very expensive building. I'm thinking we upgrade the town to a level 3, um, which is to a large town, uh, while we have this. Also, we could do this one, the pastures, which gives me another food and increased peasantry income. Um, let's do the town. Or, no, 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 no. I should do one that's going to finish in not... Because this is, this lasts, this bonus lasts for three turns. So if I do this one for one turn, I can then do this one after it, and I'll still have the savings. Whereas if I do this right now, I lose it. I, I spent all three of my turns of cheaper construction building that building. So let's do this. What about this one? This one is a uh, food production and peasantry income. This gives me 20 more peasantry income and another food. This gives me minus six food, but a ton more income. I don't want to take that minus six food. So let's upgrade this building for now. Yeah. Which is going to give me another plus, so another 25% food production, 15% income from peasantry. Uh, let's do that. And now, one thing I'm afraid of here is the only real... Like, I know the Han Empire is super weak at the start of the game, so I'm not really worried about these guys. Oh, hello, you're new. Liu Bei. Liu Bei just took this province that was Yellow Turban. What's up with you? Liu Bei, you have a positive attitude towards me, plus 16. Um, what's up? You want to trade? So here's... Okay, so yeah, here's my special ability, right? It's the Trade Monopoly, so... I don't want to take a trade agreement, I want to take a trade monopoly, because the trade monopoly will build this, that's my, that's my, like, special, you know, currency, my special thing here. So I want to build that trade monopoly up, so let's, let's see, do you want a trade monopoly? Oh, you do! You value it, nice, okay. Um, what about ancillaries? Nah, nothing, nothing you can give me. Um, you want not a... Okay, you're, you're a fan of non-aggression pact as well. What about military access? You're a fan as well, but not as much as non-aggression. Yeah, we'll, we'll do non-aggression pact. Because I'm going to be busy with these people I'm at war with around me. I don't want him to go to war with me. Yeah. Uh, um, wait, let's, what is, oh, wait, what does it say about him? He's a virtuous paragon. He's dependent, uh, willing to become a vassal of a strong faction, admires power. Uh, virtuous, friendly, and kind in diplomacy. Okay, that's that's nice. Always releases captives. Honorable, honors treaties, will not commit treacherous acts. Okay. Um, great, yeah. So if I sign an aggression pact with, with him, he won't attack me, which is what I want. So let's do that. Um, great, 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 great. He values both of those. Um, trade territory. You want to give me... Can you give me that iron mine? Uh, you can't. Okay. <laughs> um, how much? What are you willing to give me? Willing to give me money? Oh, you are willing to give me money. How much money? You want to give me like one twenty? By the way, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna like 
I will eat out every, every inch of a deal as I can. Even if, you know, so one extra coin, I will work for it. So he's willing to give me one, so 1,240 over the course of 10 turns. Um, what's his, what's his equivalent of negative 5.4 if you were to just give me a lump sum income right, right now? Yeah, see, it's not as much. So that's a better deal, but maybe I can get a different. So I'm making 1,240 at strictly 5.4 there. Yeah, see, this is going to be a better deal. So now I'm going to make slightly more money. Let's do that. And we get the trade agreement, which is 322. All right, so I'll take the 277 plus 105 over the course of 10 turns. Look at that. Income's looking great. Money, treasury's looking great. That's nice to have because I'm afraid of this guy. But I also kind of want to... I want to go for him. I'm thinking... I don't think the Han are much of a threat. I don't think they're going to attack me. So what I'm thinking I can do is maybe just send an army up north and take Tai Shan. Or do I split this army? And like, just send this guy up north. Oh no, you know what? This guy has plus 10 morale when defending. If he's commi You know what? Let's split him out of the army. Uh, yeah, outside the force. You go to Beihai. I would meet with my advisors. No. Oh. Whoops. I sent the wrong unit to Beihai. Wrong army. Uh, that's okay, because they're replenishing this turn anyway. Uh, I wasn't going to do anything with them, so let's move them back. You go here. In case the city gets attacked, you'll get that plus 10 morale when defending. And if I'm thinking, what if we bring in this dude, Sun Shao? So he's one of my other generals that I already have under employment. Um, yeah, he comes with these two axe infantry. He's decently happy. Um, 900 for recruitment costs. And he likes Wang Zhu. Let's bring him in. Remain poised. All right. So we just definitely bulked up our army a bit. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's recruit some troops. I don't want to recruit a new general right now. But I know, and I remember this, the, yeah, these guys, the trebuchets are super powerful, and I have the money to do it right now, so let's recruit one trebuchet unit into that army, and we could also use, no, I don't want to spend that much money on it right now, that's fine, that's enough for now, that's enough for now, we got another general in the fold, so what's your situation, Sun Shao, you are lumbering, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, minus four instinct, minus five speed, but plus five armor. Uh, relentless, resolve, instinct, and fatigue resistance. Well, that kind of helps with the... Okay, deceitful, cunning instinct, and cover cost. Okay, and you have range block chance plus 50%. That's an active buff. That's not bad. And intuition. Uh, evading capture post-battle and income for industry. Doesn't really help me right now. Weapons wise, you really have nothing amazing. This is these are two twenty and one sixty three. Um, oh, this one's better. Three, yeah. Let's let's do that. It's gonna ooh, it's gonna cut your expertise a lot, though. And that's that's your that's your point thing. But you know what? Let's do it. It's a, it's more damage. It'll give make you more balanced for the time being. Um, oh, you can take the good armor though. Yeah, that's that's an upgrade. It's the exact same armor, except it gives you three, a little bit, eight more armor base and three more authority. So take that. Ooh, look at that! He gets the feather helmet. That's kind of cool. Uh, so wait, he's a guard. So excels at locking down enemy generals or holding a choke point for a long period of time. Best grouped with glaive infantry and mate. So he's a melee infantry guy. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess just take the clayfish because there's nothing else I have for you. Uh, and your units are going to be mustering in. Yeah, so they get that added 10% from mustering rate. Um, so they'll come in relatively quickly and, and fill in. So that should be a good defensive force for the north. Uh, I like that. Um, yeah. We'll end the turn there. Beihai is upgrading. Okay, let's do that. You would not need fear. Oh, hey, dude. Who are you? You are... See this little white line? So he has these provinces here. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be at war with you for a bit. I mean, why not? Right? Sign a non-aggression pact. Um, 
can't trade with you. You don't want military access, but yeah, you want the non-aggression pact a little bit. Are you willing to give me any money for that? Not really. Like, really not really. Like, literally no money. Um... Jeez. Okay, so you don't want to pay anything uh, for the non- let's- yeah, you know what, let's just like... You didn't even want to give me one. Alright, you know what? We'll sign it. Oh, look at that. Attitude consequences. Liu Bei will like me a lot more. So let's just- we'll just Our sign it. It's too bad I couldn't get anything out of it, but it's alright. Yeah, nothing from the Han, as expected. The reason, oh, uh, battle, oh, oh, yeah, because I got the 13 units, nice, so that gives me, oh, plus 10% replenishment for three turns, nice. Um, that's, that's actually really nice. Kong Rong becomes a warlord growing in power, uh, hold three settlements, so I currently have two, that gives me some trade influence. Okay, so now these guys, yeah, see, these, these units are going to be building back up real quick, uh, that added 10% is great. Um, get back to the city over here, yeah, like, hang out for the winter. It is time to reflect. Here's what I'm looking at. Ooh, Liu Bei, you got an army. Uh, how do I see? Oh, you know what? Look at this. See this strip? Yep, I thought there would be a road there. Okay, so that's where I'm trading with him. That's the trade route. That's why I can see it. So he's got a big army. He might be going for the city. If he goes for the city, I'm going to go and take this lumber yard. Because that would be interesting. Because... This, if he takes the city, yo, he's gonna want to complete this commandery. All these, see these three Lang Yi? That's the commandery. So this might be a very valuable province to him, and I could maybe use it as a trade ship with him. Um, I wouldn't mind. I could, I would give him Lang Yi as long as I get these two northern ones. And if I'm allies with him, that pretty much seals off this area for me. So that's fine with me. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna watch his army. Um, I'm gonna watch his army and see what he does. I got a wooden dog. Uh, cool, I guess. And yeah, farm laborer camp. All right. Um, so, yeah, we still have two more turns here of the cheaper construction, but everything's going to take three turns anyway. So let's upgrade the city. So that gives me 25 income from peasantry, 25% income from commerce boost, which doesn't really matter for me. Uh, no new units, no new building slots, more prestige and more population. Yeah, we'll get that going. All right, we'll, we'll get that built up. Um, hmm. Yeah, I have, like, no money after that. That's too bad. Okay. Um, oh, I just noticed this. Wait, look. If I have this army selected, see how these guys kind of bulge out a bit? Watch, if I... Look at that. So it kind of shows you which guys you have selected. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Um, Alright, these guys are built, yeah, two turns, they're getting 30% of their troops a turn. Um, do I want to take advantage of this 10% replenishment and pull in some more men here? Oh, I don't have the money. That's too bad. Uh, I could pull in a cheapo... Yeah, let's get a cheapo archer militia uh, with Kong Rong here. Because uh, they're, they'll, see, they're going to come in three turns until they fully replenish. That's nice. Um... Yeah, this is an undefended lumberyard, so I, I may take it if uh, Liu Bei goes after the city. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep this as is for the time being, and maybe focus on going after Tai Shan once I get a bit of a force uh, built up here. So, anything new in diplomacy? No, I'm at war with literally everyone. <laughs> okay, end turn. Anything happening? Han Empire. Ah, all right. The Lumberyard's not undefended now. There is a tiny, tiny Han Empire force there. Um, nothing really new. We got character developments. Uh, new person in court. Yeah, again, these are all like level level one. Do no one here super interests me. Um, all right, still growing might and economy. Okay. Yeah, so this is, I mean, again, this is one more turn until it's fully replenished. Uh, that's super nice. Uh, these guys here, they're, they're building up. Um, okay, the army is gone from Dong. I'm not sure where it went. Let's see if, let's see. Maybe, they'll, maybe they did take that city. Um, you guys here 
I'm not going to move you for the one more turn. I want I want you to be a fully replenished troop. Um, and we have our first reform. Okay, so we have the reform tree here, and we start with this one on the left side. Uh, available trade agreements plus one. Okay, so which tree do we want to go? Well, what are the starting options? We don't need another trade agreement right now, and that only leads to silk. So yeah, I get, we don't need that. Definitely not. Uh, Ten percent income from commerce. We don't have anything with commerce right now. Um, that leads to income from industry, satisfaction for sentinels, income from all sources, commerce, commerce. Uh, I mean, it leads to some nice things. This is like ec economic tree. Um, might be worth breaking into at some point, but maybe not off the bat. Uh, this is the farming tree. Yeah, agricultural reforms uh, leads to new unit, uh, more types of agricultural buildings, satisfaction, food from fishing, replenishment, food production... Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that this is, like, all the agricultural stuff. Uh, military, uh, this branch increase, so 8%, minus 8% recruitment costs, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty valuable. Um, construction costs for military buildings, mustering time, okay. And, uh, plus fancy, oh, this might be a smart one to take off the bat here, because all my income is coming from peasantry. And that leads to all sources, industry, um, let's take that, it's a short term, I know. Uh, let's just take it off the bat, just for financial reasons. I think it's worth it. Um, okay, we'll let these guys muster in for another turn at least, uh, that's for sure. Oh, sorry, I had to step up for one second, but okay, so we're gonna let them, yeah, definitely, let's, let's take advantage of the, uh, replenishment and, and really fill out these forces, um... Do I want to recruit another unit in to this one up top? I mean, I do. I don't. These are expensive. That's the one I want. Uh, maybe I bring someone in here, like uh, spear guards. Um, that's a good unit. Anti cav. It's a good anti cav unit. Can does he have spear guards? No. We'll take it a spear guards. Take again, just taking advantage of this added 10% that we have with the mustering rate to get them built up. These units built up quickly and ready to go. Alright. Oh, anything new in the diplomatic front? No. Okay. That's, uh. Battle is not always. Alright, what do you want? Liu Bei wants a military access, and he's willing to give me 263 coins for it. What if I did regular payments? Are you willing to give me greater than 26? No. Alright. I will take the... The 263. Let's see, will he do 265? No, no, no. So 263 was the max he'd go. Any ancillaries you want, man? I mean, he kind of wants his wooden dog. How much do you value that? Nah, that's okay. Alright. I'll take 263 uh, for military access. That's fine. Oh, he did take it. He took Lang Yi. Right there. See it? He took Lang Yi, and it looks like, yeah, the Han army ran out of that territory. So I'm, again, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go after this force here. Go after the Lumberyard, because now I want to, I see these provinces here as like trade chips uh, for him. And so he's gained another wooden dog. All right. So that's his capital. Yeah, so that's his capital now. So he's really going to want the other Lang Yi, um, other Lang Yi stuff. So let's let's go and let's get down there right away and and, uh, and lay siege to the city. Um, I do think I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to face him because um, I don't want that other Han army coming in behind me and uh, possibly... Um, you know, they will hitting me from the front and the rear and, and knocking me off the siege. So we're, we're going to jump right in here and, uh, in and take him out. That's the plan. Glorious in victory. All right. Come on now. Load up. Let's use. The, let's put these trebuchets to work, though. That's going to be kind of fun. Uh, I'm excited to get them some experience because I remember from my my test campaign that. These trebuchets are kind of inaccurate at first, but once they build up experience, they get real nice. And they do have towers, so let's try to find a spot that doesn't have overlapping towers. Uh, I'm thinking maybe here. This may be my best entry point. 
Um, yeah, catapults get up as close as. Oh, look! Oh, that's rough terrain. Catapults can be back here. Oh, yeah, their range extends plenty into the city, so we're gonna set up the catapults there. Uh. Okay. And then army. Yeah. You guys, again. Off. I, I don't want you on fire at will. Um, I want you to target these towers here. Let's see if we can destroy them. Where are their troops? Their troops aren't at the gate? Or I can't see the gate. Oh, I can't see the gate. It is behind this hill. It's fine. Let my trebuchets take some shots in. Hopefully they get some good hits in on the uh, on the tower. It doesn't seem like they're getting anything yet. No. Yeah. See, they're super inaccurate when they uh, when you first uh, when you first get them. It's unfortunate. They're hitting these rocks a lot. Oh. Yeah. I mean, how many shots? They only have four shots left. All right. Let's start moving everyone up. No matter the cost. I will see you defeated. Are you angry? You sound right, everyone angry. go up. You, sir, please just Move walk. Up. I don't want you to need to charge too much. Actually, Double that's fine. Time. Yeah, these guys were kind of useless this fight, huh? They literally didn't get a hit on the tower. But it looks like they did. Show they are killing strength, some troops. Man. Wait, how many troops did they kill? They have 34 kills. So their troops are positioned in here. And even though I can't see them, my catapults still do damage to them. That's kind of nice. Yeah, there they go. Alright, just, just fire in on the troops. Oh, they're, they're done. Okay. Oh, that's a hit. Anything on- oh, well now I hit the- now I do 75% in one- one round on them. Uh, that's kind of annoying. All right, we're just going to uh, charge right in. You want a duel, sir? Yeah, yeah, you do. I must prevail. Let's go. This means that then now the towers won't be able to fire at my guy too. So he's got 22k health. He has 20k, and I have hamstring ability. Uh, all right, there go my uh, pick up my troops. Use Come hamstring, please. Nice, down to 17 already. I got a great, I got that great weapon, that uh, military great axe. All right, archers. These guys have no. Oh, the cavalry actually also have no uh, ranged block chance. So let's let's use my archer units and let's fire in on their cav and hopefully take them out, take out a good enough good number of them. Yeah, you can see a couple falling. Alright, nice. Need some help. Here come the troops. Charging in the breach. Alright, I am winning the duel. Winning that duel is definitely going to be big. Uh, one unit of cavalry is already routing. You know what? Troops. Yeah, alright. Archers. I'm going to control the archers here. Everyone fire in on that other unit of cavalry. Let's get them out of there. And now just fire over the top at these uh, at these units here because they have no range block chance either. So hopefully I can start just kind of picking off some of them with my archers. Yeah, doing a bit of damage. You know what? Maybe my archers. These guys have no range block chance. Also, take out take out those dudes. Yeah, my archers will definitely be able to counter fire theirs pretty well um, because I have three units firing in on their one. I'm about to win the duel, um, which is nice. There we go. Alright, Zheng Yan, get in. Charge in. Charge the front. Oh, he's on his horse. That's okay. Look at them make a path. Let's go, dude. Oh, there he goes. Get, yeah, get on your horse. Get on your horse. There we go. Alright, go in. Yeah, he can he can change the uh, you know the course of the front line here. Alright, the archers are running. So let's turn my archers focus. Oh, whoa, where'd these guys come from? They looped around the side. Archers just start pelting them, please. Yeah, these guys have no range block, so my archers are basically firing point blank range at them, uh, and they have no range block chance. So they'll they'll take care of them. They just kind of surprised me there. Yeah, use hamstring. Oh, look at that! Hit a whole whole wall of them out. 
Yeah, look at that. They're, these archers are doing tons of damage. Okay. Yeah, just keep firing in on those G. The time has come. Fight! All right, everyone turn and face these guys. You, you know, you chase the routing units. My archers and, and remaining infantry will be able to take them out. I'm taking heavy losses, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. All right, yeah, go after the go after them. You know, get a shot at the running away G militia here. Let's see, yeah, they're yeah they're at a uh, 48. Yeah, take take a bunch out. Okay. Now fire at those guys. That's the captain. Hey, this guy's getting attacked pretty hard, but uh, you got a hamstring you can use here. Use it, dude. Come on. There we go. Yeah, look at him. Look how many he took out. That hamstring is a ton of damage. All right, yeah, they came back, which is what I was assuming. So all my archers just fire at him point blank. Come on. Yeah, they're just under a hail of arrows here with no ranged block chance. So they are dropping pretty quick. Down to 30 something. Yeah, now they're routing and they're broken. They're shattered. Okay. Very nice. Victory. There it is. Alrighty. Claim victory. End battle. Nice. So that that's gonna be a good trade chip. Uh definitely a good trade chip for uh for any future trades with Liu Bei, that's for sure. And it's a nice uh nice province to have. But I don't intend on keeping it long term, to be to be completely honest. They lacked a coherence. Yeah, lost two seventy seven. Got some money. Let's we'll occupy it. We'll meet our needs. You gain momentum. Oh yeah, that's my third settlement. So I gained. I got that. So plus forty percent trade influence. Bonus experience for Kong Rong. Nice. Um, oh, another one. Send any character on an assignment. I gain momentum again. Okay. Zhang Yan gains rank. Killed in battle. That's their guy. Okay. Remain flexible. No, nope. I want, I want the army. So they both gained rank. Nice. Kong Rong, what do we want to give you? So, uh, usually these three are like the special ones. So, yeah, you see this one also has an uh, a, uh, ability, Wisdom of the River, active debuff. Um, but I could also give him Perception. Uh... No, this is the one I want. Resourcefulness, right? I want the flaming shot for my trebuchets, definitely. Um, yeah, we're not even debating that. We're taking resourcefulness. And that leads to, yeah, the, these good archery ones, uh, which I think I'm going to want to take with him. Now, what about you? Um, what are your specials? This one in the middle here is charge resistance, and on the far side, wow, binding fury, 7.5k splash damage. It's a long way away, though. It's going to take a lot of levels up, you know. Level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, level 6 until you can get it. <coughs> um, and that's if I want to go this top route. So what do we have here? This is Instinct, Enable Scare, Morale, and Own Territory when commanding. Uh, reinforcement Range, Encourage, Guerrilla Deployment, Chance of Ambushing, uh, Capturing Enemy Officers, uh, and Increases Rate of Wall and Settlement Damage during Sieges. Um, bottom here is flexibility, resolve, redeployment cost, and plus five for punishment when commanding. Reach, um, okay, so another one commanding, uh, campaign movement range, that's also nice. Resolve, armor for all spear infantry, and income from peasantry in his commandery. Reserves, ooh, this is a tough one. I mean, I like... Mm, I like the resolve. Both definitely have their adva advantages. I like reach, and I like flexibility, and I'm considering making him the commander of this army. We're going to go the bottom route, even though it's slower to get to Binding Fury. And uh, make him the commander of this army, because I want that plus 5% replenishment when he's commanding. So you, sir, Welcome, my lord. appoint commanding general. So, what, like, 
This turn, it's getting 20% uh, replenishment a turn. Point commanding general. <coughs> uh, now he's at 25%. It's worth it. That 5% bonus is very nice. And let's see how much, let's see how badly Obey wants that province just right off the bat. Greetings. So yeah, the Langyi Lumberyard. Yeah, you value it 14.5. So you highly value it. And I assume you're going to value that fishing port the same way. Which is uh, which is what we're going to take next turn. Or some future turn. Um, Alright, Beihai Town. One turn left for it upgrading. Do I want to pull in more? I'm still making a decent amount of money per turn. Um, do I want to pull in more troops? I can pull in one of these guys now. These Jan Sword Guards that I really want. But this army also has like no ranged units. And I'm thinking, I know crossbowmen. Crossbowmen are better than archers. Uh, they have better range, uh, do more damage. Um, they have slightly slower rate of fire and do have slight have less ammo. Um, but their added range is really big. Yeah, we're gonna pull in two crossbow units into that force um, for now. And let's just get a, a Saber Militia uh, Swords unit in as well. So, yeah, we're bulking up our force. Um, I think it's the right call. Uh, again, we have one more turn of the Growing Might. Um, let's see what this army does this turn. I'm curious. I think my livestock farm can defend itself some... Eh, not against that force. Not with the general. But, uh... Alright, let's see what happens. Anything new? No. Alright. What we got? Okay, well, there's Huang Xiao's army. You, sir... Looks like you're ambushing in the middle of my territory. That's kind of annoying. Um, Kong Rong... See, okay, at the end of the turn, I have a trade income of at least 1,000, and I get Path to Glory. Oh, that's big. 6k population growth, public order, and income from peasantry for 5 turns. Nice. Uh, if people want to trade with me, that'd be great. Decline... Ooh! Sun Jan is killed. This is the guy I did my test campaign with. He's killed... Wow, legendary character. Killed right off the bat. That's kind of crazy. Um, people of Merit. Yeah, I can't. I don't have enough money to afford you guys anyway. Buildings. Yeah, you upgraded. Nice. So now you're a large town. So this is your army. Can I take them on with this army? Probably not. You got like two full retinues with two generals. I have like kind of half full ones. Um, let's see what you where you move next turn. Last thing I want is Liu Bei to walk up this way though, and take it. I want that town. I really, really want that town. Um, I also am looking at this fishing port here, and it's in range and there's no one defending it. What's the Lumberyard's defense force? Four units. I mean, I don't like that there's that force sitting around there. Yeah, let's go after it. We're going to take it right off the bat here. Um, it's a decisive victory. Let's start him out. Not in a rush to, to move into the city. Um, oh, you know what? Do they, will it have towers? If it doesn't have towers, I'll attack it right away. No, it's a city with towers. Um, so let's starve it out. and make. I want to preserve my troops. Let's make them come and attack me. Otherwise, they're just going to suffer attrition. Um, yeah, faction support's going to be growing per turn. Uh, the only thing I have now is the trade influence one. Uh, I don't want to lose the mustering bonus. If I see, if I move, so the mustering lasts seven turns left, seven turns left. So if I move, I'll lose the mustering for this turn. And if I stay still for this turn, the mustering will come back. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave him because this is a bigger army than me. I want these, I want these troops mustering in. Um, but I'm not going to get any added troops yet. Uh, Tao Kwan, yeah, you can't trade still, and everyone else is at war with me. Um, Liu Bei, our strength is now even. That's nice. Greetings. Anything you want? Any ancillaries you have? No. Alright. Quick turn. Yeah, very quick turn. Next one. Okay, he moved all the way to the trade port and took it. Okay, that force... 
All right, thank God. They didn't attack my city. Looks like they're going... Well, looks like they're taking attrition now. Yeah, see the see the see see that figurine thing? That means they're taking attrition. Um, yeah, you can see the red suffering attrition. Uh, looks like they're going to Donglai. That's their one of their cities. So they're going to defend their city. It's a level 5. It's a big city. Now... I can't attack that city this turn. But it's vulnerable. But if I move and take his city, he may come and attack and just take my capital in return. So, this is sort of a debate. <laughs> and so I got a clay pig, nice. Yeah, I know. Um, he ran by me, it's okay. Um, so they decided to suffer attrition. As you can see, their units are, uh, are depleting pretty quick. For the people. Hmm. Is it worth it for me to run for to t to split this army and like run one of these guys like all the way up north? Mountains, peaks offer challenge. Well, so we first we gotta take the city. So let's start this battle. Let's take this one off the bat, and I may, I may run this army north because I, I want to take Taishang as it's so vulnerable. But I don't want to leave my capital undefended. So I may just abandon the southern campaign for the time being in order to gain a really powerful foothold um, in the northern uh, area. But let's let's see how this battle goes first. Obviously, I'm going to try to uh, minimize uh, casualties. Now, I remember for trade ports, yeah. They always have this... See these guys? They always have this side entrance that only has one tower. Because if I just if I just stay to the right of this line that was there for these towers, they can't fire at me. So we're gonna go out here. We're gonna pull my my trebs, my trebuchets, uh, like so. Uh, now I got flaming shot. Look at the flammable rounds. So good. Um, everyone else, just kind of hang out here. We're gonna let these guys do some work. Go ahead and fire it. Oh, they're running out at me. All right, fire at the troops. Fire at the troops. The troops are moving at me. Right, so I'm gonna get some flaming shots in here on these troops. A couple big hits, and we'll totally turn the tide of this battle. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, here they come. All right, there was a big hit. Ooh, that unit. That's already 24 kills with one hit there. And it wasn't even the unit I was targeting. Um, nice. Yeah. You, you can really see the... Uh, you know what, now that they're moving out at me, I don't want to leave my trebuchets exposed. Uh, let's get my archer units... Um, in front of them, I want you, sir, there, and then my melee units uh, lined up in front of the archers. Archers, fire at will, but no uh, skirmish mode. Uh, okay. Oh, here comes the next round of shots. Do I get a hit? Eh, sort of. Eh, kind of got a hit on them. Another, like, two kills. Nothing crazy. But they're wavering um, already, which is nice. But this unit's just... Oh, why are you guys all the way out there? Oh, man. I forgot to move them. Okay, there's another hit. Nice. Yeah, keep firing away, trebuchets. You're doing good work. Uh, these archers should get to safety. Uh, they're gonna take a bit of damage. Just, uh... Just, just, just don't, don't take unnecessary casualties. Alright, let's see if my trebuchets can get a hit in on their archers here. I don't have any cavalries to run after, uh, cavalry units to run after their archers, so... Um, you know, just just run out this way. I can win this battle without you. Uh, I don't want you getting any more uh, shots in. Those those towers have already killed six, 16 of them, I think. Nope. Alright, see, yeah, the accuracy is really bad, but they're already level 2. See, once they're level 10, they'll be, like, pinpointing these units and, and, uh, and just crushing them, so... Alright, there was a nice hit. Yeah, that took him out pretty significantly. Alright, they're running. Switch back to the G-Infantry Captain. Oh! Oh, right in the center. Nice shot. Nice shot. Let's, let's start getting some more hits in on the Captain here. Come on. Nothing. Oh, nope. See, they, they're kind of smart. They move right with my guys, uh, right after my guys fire. So they know when the shots are coming in. 
Yeah, see, here they go. They move again right after they, they launch. Boom, that got them, though. All right, you guys, these guys are super close. Let's see if I can route this unit. It's a, uh, just a G militia unit. I might take a, sh a, a long shot at those guys in a second. But let's see if I can get a short one in here. Nope, high. Looks like these... Eh, I got a couple guys at the end of the, end of the line. I got six shots left. That's not a high priority unit. That's the captain. Let's keep targeting the captain. Nothing. Come on, one shot right into the square. We'll just... Oh, wait, there's a nice hit. That wavers down. Sorry about that, guys. I had a program pop up which quit me out of the game and stopped my recording for a second. Um, but we're going to go ahead and continue here and uh, attack that G militia with my last uh, four shots that I have here with the trebuchets. And they have 97 men. Let's see if I can get a good hit in on these guys. Come on. Come on, catapults. Give me a good... Here comes the flame shots. First one, miss. Second one, miss. Three and four. Yeah, they all missed. Okay, got a couple more chances. No. No hits still. Nothing. Come on. The men are out of ammunition. No hits on them. Alright. Well, it's up to the normal troops now. Prepare. You guys just like get out of the battle. Okay. Archers, I guess run over here. Doesn't really matter. Bowman. Yeah, these guys, they'll be able to not there's no range block chance on those G. Yourselves. So they'll be able to, they're going to fall pretty quick. Faster. Not too worried about them. Run. Move out quickly. Bolt. Yeah, just fire in on these guys. They're they're not going to last. They might not even they're probably not going to even make it to my line. Yeah, got some nice shots in on them. Look, the enemy there they go. So now turn your attention to these guys, the captain who also happens to have no range block chance, and they shouldn't make it to my line. Yeah, they're routing, they're shattered. Last one, no range block chance, 96 normal Gs. Yeah, you can just, don't, don't worry about getting formation, just get in range and start hitting them. 89, 88, 87. They're yeah, they're falling quick. Should get some shots in from the side any second now. There we go. Yeah, they're gonna fall quick. Yeah, they didn't make it either. Nice. I didn't lose a single infantry man that entire fight. I will take that. Claim victory. End battle. Minimal casualties. Exactly, exactly what I needed. Um. Yeah, I don't think they killed anybody. Did I even lose a guy? Oh, I did lose. I did lose some of my uh, archers because the towers were, were picking them off a little bit. So let's see how many I lost. I lost five of them. Not bad. Gained some money. It's okay. We'll occupy the settlement. Uh, Liu Bei will definitely like the both of those. And friends, Kong Rong and Zheng Yan. They're friends. That's good. Um, a lapping tide erodes stone. Towards peace. All right, this force stance Tell march. Yeah, we we're gonna march these guys up uh, My troops need up north as quick as they can. I'm gonna need them, uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna wait one more turn here and let's see what happens. Anyone good? Top one, you want to trade? Nope. Your trade things are full. Anyone good here? No. No. Okay. Uh, we'll end this turn. Let's see what happens. I want to see. I assume this. I assume this Han guy is gonna move to the city. Yep. There we go. Um, he did not move from Taishan. Interesting. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. What's that army? What? Oh, this is gonna. I was just about to go after the city. This army finally gets to full strength, and now this full stack appears on my doorstep. Oh, okay. Um, rebellion. I mean, I, uh, they're happy, right? Yeah, the town's happy with me. Public order's good. I mean, th the malcontents from 
you know, the rebellion. All right, fine, but I feel like this was a hard-coded thing, right? Like, where did? Why is there just a full stack on my doorstep all of a sudden? Eh, whatever. Well, if it's hard coded, I guess that's why this is a hard start. Um, this guy's not bad. He's got a lot of cunning. Yeah, those are bad. Yeah, those aren't bad. He's got a lot of cunning for level one. Yeah. Okay. Regardless, this force, uh, they are in March. Let's get them north as quickly as possible. Yeah, they're moving north quick. I don't think this Han Empire unit is going to come after me. I think they're going to stay stay in these back two territories here of Don Wai. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to attack this force. I assume they're going to lay siege to my city. Uh, fortunately, I have two generals here. Um, both of which are equipped, I think, pretty well. Yeah, he's equipped very well. Uh, he gets the, the, the defending uh, morale bonus. Got some, got a good mix of troops. The city is giving me another four troops, uh, so that's a nice bonus. I'm definitely gonna be outnumbered, but these are uh, these are all light infantry units. I assume because it's a rebellion, they're gonna have bad morale, uh, and these generals don't seem to have great weapons. This seems this is their best general, and he's got he's got a pretty bad weapon. Yeah, I should be able to take them out in duels. I think. I hope. Okay. Maybe somebody has a weapon or, or something I can trade for. No, I don't need your clay cup. It's fine. What about you? A pleasure. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Alright, that's gonna be an interesting fight, but I do think this video has gone on long enough as the first episode. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, you know, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope uh, you're all happy to see me back. I know I'm happy to be back, um, and uh, I'm happy to, uh, you know, get videos up again and have, have you all enjoy, hopefully, enjoy watching them. So, um, yeah, as always, I look forward to seeing everybody next time with what is likely going to be a very large uh, battle. Have a good one.